morning, good noon, good afternoon, whatever, whenever the time is. I am happy to be here on my mat, on my beautiful terrace in front of the Cathedral of Palma de Mallorca. I hope you too. Um, today, I am going to make a very short but effective whole body flow. And I hope you also take off take out the time to join me and to enjoy this beautiful view and this beautiful flow and to just you know move your body a little bit and yeah let's take some moments with some breaths let's do it with that being said i'll see you in the back of our mat Now we are kneeling in the back of our mat. Open the chest and just loop the back bend. Cross the fingers behind the lower back. Take a deep inhale. Face up. And exhale. Forward fold. Place the forehead on the ground and let the hands drop behind our neck as far as they can. And from here, take an inhale, slowly lift your hips up and roll over on the crown of your head and drop the hands behind our head even further. Your hips are stacked over your knees. Just to give a little reverse to the neck and head and a little stretch in the shoulders and the arms to stay. And gently sit your feet down. Place the hands, extend them out in front of you like a child's pose. Extend the rounds of the grounding breaths here. Through the nostrils, out of the nostrils. Slowly round yourself in the hill like a cat. Round yourself down into a tabletop. Shoulders over your hands. And cow pose to bring your hips back to your heels. And every time you lift your body up and come over to the front of your mat, come a little bit over your shoulder, a little bit over the wrist and then also bring your hips back to the heels. The third time you should come over a little bit more and dip your hips a little bit down and gaze up and bring the hips back. That's it. Fourth time we'll come into a little bit like a cobra pose. Very gentle. Don't push yourself. Just let the body move. And the last time, the fifth time, we'll come into a cobra pose. You stay in this cobra pose for one more breath. Open your chest to learn this out. Widen your collarbones and chant and place yourself down into a Reversed shavasana. Arms out next to you like a cactus. And just have a little bit of rest here. And now, place the hands behind the lower back. Like we started with flow. And externally rotate the shoulders to open and widen the collarbones. And take an inhale, lift your chest, the forehead, shoulder out the other. As far as you can go, doesn't matter where. In the mornings, our bodies are a little bit more stiff, so it doesn't matter. Exhale, place your head down. Then we'll try a bow pose. Bring your knees, bring your heels 
closer to the hips and swing over your hands, your arms, to hold the ankle of the both feet. This is our starting position. Inhale, exhale, lift those knees and chest off the floor as long as you can with the option. This is a low pose. Like, um, press down so your pelvic bone into the mat and release. Hold down and use your shoulders. Press yourself up into a tabletop. We'll circle our hips a few times to the right side, like really just to mobilize the spine. Also to counteract this backbend pose we just did before. A few times to the left, circle the hips. Now we'll come to sit on our hips in the middle of the mat or wherever on the mat, but we will come into the middle of our mat later on. Well, it's windy today, but it's super hot. Come to sit in the middle of our mat, legs out in front of us, staff pose. Sit your upper body tall, straight your legs out straight extending out take a big inhale arms lifted suck your belly in exhale create space between your belly and your side and bend forward exhale inhale halfway lift exhale bend a little bit deeper reach your forehead towards your knee doesn't have to, your forehead doesn't have to touch the knees, but just to reach them toward the direction, the knee or the shin. To the chest, let the neck also stretch a little bit. Slowly lift yourself up. Now we will bend both knees 90 degree, like half pigeon, but it's um, very, uh, uh, how to say, lazy pigeon, okay? Not that intense at all. I feel like some flowers or whatever stings, like rose stings on him. Anyway, bend the right knee 90 degrees, place the right knee on the mat, and bend the left behind it, also 90 degrees. So your body is more like 90 degree, 90 degree, and 90 degree to the hips, left side to the right, inner side. And then square yourself to face the front of your mat, face the right side of the mat. Really square off your upper body, a little bit twist in the delicate rock, and walk your hands out to rest your upper body on top of your right side. Feel the stretch on the outer side of the right hip. And also a little bit inner side. Hmm. Totally rest your head on the mat. Rest the upper body on the right side. And slowly crawl your hands towards the right, right side. Come into a little bit twisting motion. Revolve half pigeon. You can also lift yourself a little bit up while still twisting your body to the right. Your legs are in the same position. Remove them. Both knees on the left. And come to yourself to face the front of your mat. We, we will, oh, this wing, we will cross the left, um, cross the left leg all the way to place it on, um, place the left knee on top of the right. Like step, step both knees. 
how things are. Sit yourself a little bit taller. Bring both feet closer to your hips. That helps. And extend your arms to T-shape. Swing your left up, right down, and come to the, bring the hands behind your back and try to reach them. If you cannot reach the fingertips, you can also grab a towel or um, grab your t-shirt, you know, um, to help shorten the distance of your fingertips. If you can, the range of motion allows, try to grab the fingertips of each other. Cover, place your head on um, left elbow, press it back. Release the hands into T shape again. And place them in front of you, cross them over right above the left. Cross twice if you can. Oh. Lift the elbows out from you, far from, not far, like away from you, up, and bring the elbows down, like you always imagine that you are drawing some kind of line with your elbow, first up, 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 then down, 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 just keep them away from yourself, so that you have this gap in between yourself and your arms, round your back, round your neck. And release. Come back to the center. <laughs> How do you feel? I hope you're enjoying this little bit of um, movement with me. And welcome to, to the left side, the windy side. <laughs> 90 degrees of the right, of the left and the right. Place the left knee down on the mat. It's very important. And adjust the right to form. 90 degrees on the left knee, 90 degrees on the hips, 90 degrees on the right knee. All right, adjust yourself to face the left side of the mat. When you are ready, walk your hands out very gently and slowly. And place your upper body to rest on your left side. Totally let your weight be down or rest your upper body on the left side. And stretch. Now, walk your hands to the right side, to the left side, and lift yourself a little bit up. Come into a twist, it's involved pigeon pose. This is really good for our spine. Really, really good for the spine. Really, really good for the lower back. It is like you are rinsing your spinal parts and you are, you know, you are rinsing them. You are a little bit sort of twisting them in a good way to create more space so that the oxygen oxygens can go into those areas that's always very tight and never open. So this counter and revolve and twisting movement of the spine is really healthy. And well, just cross our right leg all the way over to place the right knee on top of the left. Cow face pose. Sit here for a little moment. Mm. Open the arms into T shape and swing the right arm up and left arm. We'll do the same. Hold the hands behind our back and lift our body up. Place the head and press it against your right elbow. If you cannot hold the hands, it's okay. Hold the T shirts or grab a towel. To however it can help you shorten the distance between your hands, between your fingers. 
again to open the arms again. Place the left on top of the right in front of you. Cross your arms once or twice. Bring the elbows away from the body. And like drawing a line first. Lift the arms up again. Bring the arms down. Round the back. Round the neck. Pose. Release. I hope you feel a little bit more released and more loosened up in the upper body and lower body. So now we all come to a malasana. Just open the legs, open the feet, toes out, heels in, and place yourself behind you to come into a squat. Stay here for three rounds of rest in this last minute. Keep your knees open with your elbows. And now take the hands down in front of you and take a big inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips up and come into a forward fold. Inhale. Hips down to the ground. Don't touch the ground. Come into a malasana and exhale. Hips up in. Inhale, malasana. Exhale. Stay in this body. Mm. Mm. Hold the elbows and roll the upper body down. Let the gravity pull your head and neck and shoulders down into it. Feel the stretch on the hamstrings. Now we'll be very lazy. Round yourself. You don't have a spine. Now we'll come into a wild leg forward fold, okay? Bring the feet really wide, wide, wide. Bring one leg back and toes in, heels out, hands at hips. Take an inhale, exhale, hinge at hips. And bring yourself down into a wild leg forward fold. Hands can be placed anywhere you want, right beneath your head or Top of your feet, or your ankles, doesn't matter where. Just shift yourself a little bit side to side, and one at a time. Feel the stretch on the other hamstring. And slowly move yourself, move your hands towards the right foot, and bring your forehead closer to your right knee. And from here, pointing the right toe to front, two points, right toe to the right side. Place the right fingertips either on top of the chain or the foot or in your side of the mat. And peel your left arm up. Open your body to the left side, to the front side, whatever, to the side. Uh, extend the triangle pose. Place your hands behind you, and if you can, you can hold your left hand on to your inner um, right, uh, inner right groin, inner side, and lift yourself with the core. Reverse triangle pose. Take a big inhale, exhale, swing your arms all the way down, come into a pyramid pose. <laughs> Halfway lift, exhale, forward into <laughs> And 
now we'll gently pivot to the right toes to come inward again. We'll come back into a well like forward fold. Back into center. We will gently move to the other side. Mm -hmm. Now let's move forward so, to fold towards the left leg. Toes out towards the left. Left hand on the mat. Peel the right. Come up. Over to the side. Oh, so nice. Right hand comes into the inner. Left side. Left groin. Open the shoulders even more. Open the chest. And use your core strength. Lift yourself up into a reverse triangle. Swing your arms all the way down to the pyramid. Half the lift. <laughs> now we'll come to the center again. And from here, hands at the hips. This is how we're gonna lift ourselves up by doing the same but reverse. Lift yourself up on the hips or come into the center and lift your arms up. Bring the heels in, toes out. Uh, exhale, come into a goddess pose. Inhale, two more rounds, two more times. Inhale, lift, 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 extend and lengthen. Exhale, goddess pose. Squat deeper. Inhale. Exhale, come into center. Place the hands on top of our knees. We'll just dip each shoulder at a time. Like, inhale. Exhale, dip the right into the center. In. Exhale, dip the left. Inhale, dip the right. Exhale, dip the left. Really stretch it out. Press against each other for me and again. And come into center. Take a big inhale, straighten the legs. Bring the arms. Hands together, prayer, bringing down to heart center. <sighs> Heel toes, your feet in into hip distance. Oh, not this only mess. <sighs> Come into a stillness. Feel your body. Feel the appreciations and the gratitude your body is telling you and giving you. You did good by taking out this time to give yourself some self-love. And I hope you enjoy this flow with me. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you like my videos, if you like my classes, like and uh, the like button would be appreciated. And also, if you want to see more of my flows, you can subscribe to my channel. I will have weekly updates. So, yeah, you'll see me. Um, you'll see me a few times, two months. <laughs> Alright, so I wish you a good day.